वेलकम टू गो सुगम ऑनलाइन फार्मर रजिस्ट्रेशन पोर्टल वेर फार्मर्स कैन रजिस्टर एंड अवेल द बेनिफिट ऑफ वेरियस स्कीम्स एंड सर्विसेस रनिंग अंडर द एफ ए आर डी एंड डी एफ ई डिपार्टमेंट इन द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा फार्मर्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड टू सेट अप एंड एक्सपेंड देयर प्रैक्टिस इन एग्रीकल्चर फिशरीज एनिमल हजबेंड्री एपिकल हॉर्टिकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर एंड अदर एलाइड सेक्टर्स can apply for the government schemes to avail subsidies allotted by the government for that reason farmer registration in the portal is a must enter the website url and land to the gosugam website page click on the apply button after clicking system will navigate to the beneficiary login page Click on the register now button in this page. In the beneficiary registration page, you can set the preferred language as English or Odia as per your preference. Now add the name of the beneficiary as provided in the Aadhaar card. Provide the email address and the mobile number. Add the address of communication in this text box. Provide a password for login purpose. You can view the password by clicking on this view icon. Re-enter the password to confirm and then click on the register button. On clicking the register button, a one-time password is sent to the mobile number. Enter the one-time password and click on verify button. If the OTP is not received to the registered mobile number, you can receive the OTP again by clicking on the reset button. On successful validation of the OTP the mobile number verification is completed successfully use the verified mobile number to login into the gosugam portal click on go to login button and navigate to the beneficiary login page or you can click on the apply button in the website home page to navigate to the beneficiary login page enter the registered mobile number then the password and the captcha code then click on login button to login you can also view the password entered by clicking on the view button on successful login system will navigate the user to the dashboard page the dashboard page features option to set the language in english or odia language option to change the page color zoom in or zoom out the page and the helpline number on the top right the name and picture of the farmer is given click and expand to view the options to change password and sign out the header section features links to dashboard schemes and services and track status next to that the user details that is the name of the applicant date of birth aadhar number gender and phone number and email id are provided Now to view the list of schemes and services available per directorate wise click on the schemes and services link Here a complete list of directorate wise schemes and services under FARD and DAFE department are displayed Click on the view link to view the complete list of schemes and services available as per the directorate chosen Herein you can select the type as scheme services or other departmental services then the directorate or enter the scheme name or service name and then click on search button to filter the result list of all the schemes registered under the scheme name or sector is displayed in the list if the user want to get a brief idea about the scheme that is what is the scheme eligibility criteria how to apply etc then click on the brief description button provided under the scheme name on clicking a pdf file format of the attached description in downloadable format will open up before applying for the scheme take a note of the guidelines mentioned by clicking the guideline button provided for the respective scheme name to apply for the scheme click on apply button for the respective scheme name and go to the add farmer detail section here in the name mobile number and email id are auto faced select the gender type 
date, month and year of birth, then choose the farmer category. Enter the Aadhaar card number. On entering the Aadhaar number, system will automatically fetch the name, gender, date of birth category as per the information provided in the Aadhaar card. Enter the name of the husband or father of the farmer. Upload an image, most preferably in prescribed format, then add the district, block, GP, ward, village and provide the address details of the farmer. Then click on save and next button to save the basic information in the system. You can also save the intern details in the draft format and submit it later on by clicking on save and drop, save as draft button. After entering the farmer's information, enter the scheme details for which you want to apply. Provide the details of the address where the unit has to be set. Select the district name, block or ULB, GP or ward number and the village. Provide the scheme specific details. Provide the name of the tehsil, moza, plot number. Provide the khata number, kisam or area in hectare. Name of the recorded owner as per the ROR. Select the relationship with the land owner. If the land is on lease, then select yes and provide the lease details. That is name of the lesser. If the farmer has any experience with the related scheme, then select yes and provide the details. Mention the details of the experience. If the subsidy under similar project has been availed previously, then select yes. Now provide the bank details for the subsidy release. Provide the IFSC code or get the IFSC code by clicking this button. Select the bank name, then the district name and click on search button. Now for the selected bank, click on the select button. The name of the bank and the branch name will be auto -faced. Enter the account number and the account holder's name. Then click on save and next button. On clicking, system will navigate to the upload document section where you need to select the photo ID card and provide the soft copy of the identity card. Upload the soft copy of the photo identity card, upload the soft copy of the land rights of record and then the first page of the bank passbook. Then click on save and next button to proceed further. On clicking, a preview of the farmer's application details populates on the display screen for final review and confirmation. If all the details are correct, then proceed to submit the application or else click on modify button to update the application details. Once the field details are correct, click on the checkbox to confirm the self declaration mentioned and proceed to submit the application. After clicking the submit button, the application is submitted successfully and an application number is generated by the system. Note down the application number for future references. Click on go to dashboard to go to the dashboard page. In the dashboard page, you can see the application details with the application number, scheme or service name selected, status and take action button. You can click on the view button to view the details. Now click on view application to get a detailed information about the application. Click on back button to go back. You can also track down the application by clicking on the track status button. On clicking it, it will redirect to the track status page where the user needs to provide the directory type and then the application number or the mobile number and then click on submit button. If the provided details are correct, then information about the application will populate on the screen. You can view the application in detail by clicking on the view details button. This is all about how to register, apply and track application in the GoSugam portal. Hope the video helped the purpose well. Thank you for watching this video. Now log out from the application by clicking on the sign out button.